Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a uh, video on this uh, Trangier stove. Um, I'm a bit late to all this Trangier stove stuff, but... Because um, I've always been using gas stoves and stuff, so... I just thought that I should give the Trangier burner a, a go and see what I prefer better. And um, so far, it, this stove has been pretty good because it's not heavy, it's not too big and it can burn for quite a while too because it holds a fair bit of fuel and that so um, what I'm going to be doing today is just I'm going to um, use my Yugoslavian uh, mess tin and um, I'm going to fill that up with uh, two cups, oh wait, uh, sorry, one and a half cups of water and um, I'm going to boil that and I'll be also using the um, oh, I forgot the color, it's like an Esbit stove but it's a different brand here in Australia This the brand of this is um, Kookaburra so um, yeah and the stove that I got I'll just show you the guys the packaging it came in it came in this plastic bag and with this on it so, I'll let you guys read this, if I can get it focused on it for you. So, I'll let you guys just read that. And, uh, yeah, that's the packaging it came with. Let's get it focus. So, yeah, um... It's been a fairly good stove. I've taken it camping quite a few times and um, just whenever I'm out in the bush and it's been pretty good. I've cooked um, just simple things like noodles and pasta and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be um, using my phone and I'm going to time it. Um, so I'll time it and I'll see how long it takes to... Um, boil it. So what? I, oh yeah, and the um, fuel I use for this is methylated spirits, as you can see there. Um, this stuff. I've heard a few people say that it makes the uh, the whatever you put on it, like a pot or a pan or something like that. Um, it, they say it makes it black, but it doesn't make it black, so, yeah, my, like, I've always been fine with it, so, um, so, yeah, I'm going to be using this, I'm going to be putting the Trangier stove in here, and I'll just get it focused, um, so, I'll, s so, if you guys have never seen this before, which I doubt, because, Everyone owns one of these these days, so um, I'm not going to be using the flame dimmer um, for this. I'm just going to be using it just straight with nothing on the top. So the top of this unscrews off. I oh, am just to show you guys, it is a real trangier. It's got that there. If I haven't already shown you. Um, so I've got a bit of fuel in this, but I'm going to fill it up more. Um, so I'm just going to be using a bit of methylated spirits. Now I'm not too sure how long this will take, so what I'll do is I'll keep the timer on. And um, once it's boiled, I'll bring you guys back. And, uh, yeah, then we'll see how long it takes. Because I uh, don't actually know how long it takes to do so. Alright, so I got the fuel in the burner. I'm just going to put it like this in. And then I'm going to close in, closing the edges just enough for this to sit on. Now it's not exactly the stablest of things. 
Well, first off, before I even light it, I'm going to move the fuel away from the burner. Alright, so... I'll start, like, I'll light the stove, um, and... Um, I'll pour the water into the cup. So this is one and a half cups of water, okay? So I've got that. I'll light the stove now. I'll show you guys how long it takes to, uh, to bloom on the stove to, for it to fully start. And it's a bit hard to light it sometimes with a zipper lighter. Okay, I'm actually having a bit, of, quite a bit of trouble trying to light this. All right, I'm not going to use my zipper. I'm just going to use this lighter. Bam! All right. <laughs> if you guys want me to do a, a video on this uh, zippo lighter uh, case, um, I can do it. If you guys want, just let me know in the comments below. It's a very, very good case to have. Alright. Okay, so this is now starting. Um, uh, actually, I'll bring you guys back once it's uh, the stove's fully started. Alright, the stove is now going. So, I'm just going to... Put the water on now. Zoom you go. Oh wait, I can't zoom down any further. Alright, so I've got the um the timer going. Alright, I'll bring you guys back once it's um, at a full boil. Alright, we're back. So, the right 10 minutes and 30 seconds, I can hear it boiling, but not at a full boil though yet. It almost is, let me just check. Uh, we're almost at a full boil. Alright. Alright, so we're at a full boil now. I'll just take that off. Move that out of the way. So as you can see, the stove's still going very well. Um, I just gotta try and put this out, just like that. Alright, so, so there you have it, 11 minutes, don't know if you can actually see that because there's a glare of light in my room. You're just going to have to trust me. 11 minutes and 4 seconds. So, to me that's kind of a bit long, but I don't know, like, it's probably worth it for the le carrying less weight. So, yeah, you know, like, it did a full boil. I ended up by putting on the cap for it. Ah, uh, this is the other part to the Yugoslavian mess kit. So, yeah, 
You guys can check out my review on my Slavian mess kit because I've um, done a review on that. But uh, yeah, you know, so it's pretty, pretty good stove. Um, so yeah, they there you have it. All right, so thanks guys for watching. This is the video on the Trangia stove, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.